Our first question is coming from Aaron Ventress with the Oregonian. Hey, I know it's a tough loss for you guys tonight, but uh, that was clearly your best performance by far. How did you feel out there tonight? Personally, I feel good. Next question uh, is coming from AJ McCord with Coin. Dirk, what is the, I don't know, mood in the locker room? It just feels like these close losses just keep happening, and I can imagine there's a lot of frustration over it. What are you guys telling each other after these games? I mean, majority of the game we won like that, so I don't think we, you know, obviously it's it's hard when you, I feel like it's harder when you lose one point or close game than just blowouts. I think it's, it's hit harder, but... um. You know, the great thing about NBA, we got to them on Sunday, and then we got them soon enough. Jason Quick, The Athletic. Uh, Nurk, you said it's the uh, first time you felt good. Is that body or mind or what? What I said that right now? Yeah. I just felt like, you know, obviously every game I told you I was good. I mean, personally, the way I move, the, the way I feel out there, um, you know, it's great when you have a chance to take a night off on the back-to-backs. Um, that helps, certainly. But, um, you know, all that shit don't mean to me because we just lost the game. But, um, you know, obviously I'm happy that, that uh, the coaches, you know, show the trust and, and, and kind of my role getting back where it used to be. And that's a good sign. I wish we would just win the game. And, it was close. But, but you said it's the first time you felt good. No, I didn't say that. Right? At least I don't you remember. Didn't no, I didn't say that. Wow. Okay. Maybe I misunderstood. No, I, don't, I don't remember to say that. No, I, I feel like every every game when I was here asking the question, I thought I was said I felt good. Uh, Jamie Hudson, NBC Sports Northwest. Hey, Nurk, uh, how do you describe the challenges that Memphis brings with they, they get out in transition and then obviously the points in the paint tonight? So just how do you describe, how do you defend them? I mean, it's on us. You know, we know that they play hard. They have a young team. But they, you know, transition points are huge for them. We go into the game with a game plan. I mean, the coaches prepare us. We didn't do the job. So I guess the... The fail part and the good thing is just like we still have a chance to win the game. But when you allowed, I don't even know, I thought I was tracking for 58, 60 points in a pain. That's way too much. And obviously with my minute restriction, just keep even, you know, sometimes you, you try to be aggressive. And, and we, our rotation is not the way we, we, we like to be. But uh, I think, you know, I feel you guys' frustration, but... Um, I have no explanation why we allowed that many points from the, you know, obviously that's what they do, but um, I wish we took, you know, take less than that. Coming back to Aaron Fentress. You were plus nine, you, you were plus nine tonight. Clearly when you're on the court, you impact things at both ends of the court. How many minutes a game would you like to play? I don't know, man. You tell me. 35. I mean, <laughs> You know, obviously, as a player, you want to be out there as much as possible. But, um, you know, I can easily say, you know, I want to play as much minutes as I want. But then, you know, they, they come back to me and say, we, we got this. We got to do this right away for the playoffs. And, and, and obviously, I, I think we have 15, 14 games left in the season. So I feel like at this point, I want to trust the medical staff. But at the same time, I'm just right there to get off the minute restriction. So... I think the worst part was over. Now it's just like game two away, I guess, to 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 be in position. Even we have you know so many back to backs in the second part of the season, but um, it's hard, man. You know, I don't know how to explain, but um, some things you just gotta, you know, gotta do what they tell you to do. Thanks. AJ, go ahead. Dirk, you just mentioned it earlier. You get these guys two more times in the next five days with transition defense, points in the paint being something that was a struggle tonight. What do you anticipate trying to work on so that the next two games against these two guys don't have the same result? 
I mean, to be honest with you, from the bubble and now, I feel like we always played the, the Memphis. So I think they saw opportunity to, to get a higher in the stands. And, 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 you know, obviously so many games play with them in, in, a, in a span of the week. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity for young guys. And, and we as a Western team, we shouldn't allow that. You know, it's easy to set them down, but um, it's definitely going to take more effort to protect the paint. Even they have some good shooters out there, but um, you know, obviously they have so much damage in the paint, and we should do some different for sure. But you know, obviously the coach is going to challenge us to do it, and I think we should we should be better than Sunday already. All right, thanks, Nurk. We'll wrap it there. Thank you.